Good morning, everyone. I hope you are fine. In our lecture today, we will tackle the context and key facts of Dr. Faustus, a tragedy by Christopher Marlowe. Well, I will start with the context and date of publishing of Dr. Faustus. Actually, Dr. Faustus was probably written in 1592, although the exact date of its composition is uncertain since it was not published until a decade later. On the other hand, Dr. Faustus actually belongs to many sources. The first source presents the idea of an individual selling his or her soul to the devil for knowledge. And this idea is an old motive in Christian folklore. One that had become attached to the historical persona of Johannes Faustus, a disputable astrologer who lived in Germany sometime in the early 50s. However, the immediate source of Marot's play seems to be the anonymous German work Historia von die Eichhorn Posten of 1587, which was translated into English in 1592, and from which Marlowe lifted the bulk of the plot for his drama. And although there had been literary representations of Faust prior to Marlowe's play, Dr. Faustus is the first famous version of the story. Later versions include the long and famous poem Faust by the 19th century romantic writer Johann Wolfgang, as well as operas by Charles Gonald and Arrigo Whitehouse. In addition to a symphony by Hector Berlioz. Overall, the meaning of the phrase Faustian bargain has entered the English lexicon referring to any deal made for a short-term gain with a great cost in the long run. Moving on, as part of context, we should now something about our playwright, Christopher Marlowe. Christopher Marlowe, born in Canterbury on February 26, 1564. And he was an actor, poet, and playwright during the reign of Britain's Queen Elizabeth I. Education. Marlow attended Corpus Christi College at Cambridge University and received degree in 1584 and 1587. Traditionally, the education that he received would have prepared him to become a clergyman. But Marlow chose not to join the ministry for a time. Cambridge even wanted to withhold his degree, apparently suspecting him of having converted to Catholicism, a forbidden faith in late 16th century England, where Protestantism was a state-supported religion. He died on May 30, 1593. Marlowe 
actually became involved in a tavern brawl and was killed when one of the combatants stabbed him in the head. After his death, rumors were spread accusing him of treason, atheism, and homosexuality, and some people speculated that the tavern brawl might have been the work of government agents. In addition, Marlowe has major contributions and works in drama. The most important contribution is that he introduced important use of blank verse, and he was Shakespeare's main competition. Major works like Dr. Faustus, Tempur Lane, and the Joe of Malta. Okay, after giving a brief introduction to the context, now we will move on to key facts about Dr. Faustus. Full title, Dr. Faustus, published initially as the tragical history of Dr. Faustus, then as the tragical history of the life and death of Dr. Faustus. Author, Christopher Marlowe. Type of work, play. Language, English. Genre, tragedy. Time and place written, early 1590s. England. Date of first publication. The A text was first published in 1604, and the B text was published in 1616. Publisher Uncertain, possibly Philip Henslow, a technical entrepreneur. Another key fact about the narrator and tales. The narrator is actually a chorus. Not for the most part. But the chorus which appears intermittently between scenes provides background information and comments on the action. Tense. The chorus who provides the only narration alternates between the present and past tenses. On the other side, important thing to know about the text is pause, its point of view, and tone. So, in regard to its point of view, while he sometimes sees the stage to the chorus or the lesser comic characters, Faustus is central figure in the play. And he has several long soliloquies that let us see things from his point of view. So the most important point of view in the play is told by Dr. Faustus. Tone. Grandiose and tragic with occasional moments of low comedy. Another important thing about the text is the element of setting, that is to say, time and place, when and where the action takes a place. Time, the 1580s. Place, Europe, specifically Germany and Italy. However, most importantly, we should know the protagonist of the work and the antagonist too. In our play, the protagonist is Dr. Faustus. His antagonists are both Mephistopheles and Lucifer. On the other hand, what is worth mentioning in any literary work, the use of literary techniques. We have four literary techniques in Dr. Faustus that are working together. Number one, themes that include sin, redemption, and damnation. The conflict between medieval and renaissance values. 
absolute power and corruption and the divideness of the human nature. The other technique is motives that include magic and the supernatural, practical jacks, symbols include blood, Faustus rejection of the ancient authorities and the good angel and the evil angel. The last technique is foreshadowing. The play constantly hints at Faustus' ultimate damnation. His blood congeals when he tries to sign away his soul. The worst homophage meaning flyman appear on his arm after he makes the pact and he is constantly tormented by misgivings and fears of hell. So these were the main literary techniques used in Dr. Foster's. And all of them are working together. Ow. We reach to the plot and the structure of Dr. Faustus as one of the key facts. The plot, as we have said before, consisted of five phases. So the first phase, the beginning. Dr. Faustus, a well-respected German scholar, grows dissatisfied with the limits of traditional forms of knowledge like logic, medicine, law, and religion and decides that he wants to learn to practice magic. Rising action. Faustus' study of dark magic and his initial conversations with Mephistopheles. The conflict. Faustus sells his soul to Lucifer in exchange for 24 years of immense power, but the desire to repent begins to plague him as the fear of hell grows in him. Climax Faustus' sealing of the pact that promises his soul to Lucifer. Falling action Faustus' traveling of the world and performing of magic for various rulers. The end or denouement, Faustus dies and goes to hell. Well, lastly, this plus structure can be divided into scenes, as we will study. So, the scenes will contain Prologue, that is to say, beginning. Epilogue, that is to say, the end or denouement. And scenes from 1 to 17. These scenes include rising action, conflict, climax, and falling action. That was the end of our lecture today. For further reading, please refer to these resources. Next lecture, I will explain the characters in Dr. Faustus. Thank you very much for your time and good luck.